All right, folks, so what we have here is a Bofang BF999S UHF handheld radio. What I wanted to do is take a quick look at this, see how it ships, what it comes with, maybe program it a little bit using Chirp, and then take it outside and do some range tests with it and see how it performs. But before we do that, why don't you go grab yourself a nice cold one, come on back, and we'll get started. All right, before we get started with the review, what I wanted to do is I wanted to thank banggood.com for sending me this radio free of charge in exchange for this review. Banggood reached out to me, uh, and this is the first time I'm doing a video with uh, with them. I bought products from them in the past, and I've probably done videos on them, but this is the first sponsored video I've done. They reached out and asked if I'd review some of their products, and we talked about a couple different things, and one of them was this Baofeng radio, so they sent it to me. So big thanks to Banggood. I'll put a link to their website below, along with a link to this radio, and a link to some of their other products, like LED flashlights that they have on sale, and you can check those out. Anyhow, this radio came in this box, which did get a little mashed up in transit, um, but that's okay. The radio seems like it's, it's, it's fine, and it uh, works okay. This is uh, looks like it's made for a Chinese market. There's plenty of Chinese writing on the box itself. I think this says subscribe to the Smoke and Ape channel, but I'm not 100% sure. And if you take a look on the back, there is a URL for a Baofeng radio website. But there's also all kinds of letters or symbols here that I don't know what they mean. So anyhow, let's go ahead and open this up and see how the radio shipped. The first thing that we're going to notice is a user manual, but we're not going to read that. Uh, here is the radio. And taking a look at this radio, it uh, looks like a handheld walkie-talkie. Uh, one of the things I do like is the size of these buttons. Uh, they're very big. I don't know if you can hear that, and they have a pretty good tactile sensation. So you could actually activate these with gloves or something along uh, those lines if you had something on your hands. comes with a pocket clip or a belt clip that you can attach to the back of the radio. It comes with what appears to be this standard Baofeng rubber ducky antenna. This is exactly like the ones that are on some of the UV5Rs that I've done reviews of. It comes with this lanyard, um, which is a little odd because I don't know where you would attach the lanyard to the radio, but I could be missing something there. And it comes with a Baofeng-esque charging cradle that uh, looks like you just plug it into a standard 110 outlet. And we're going to go ahead and charge this up because I believe it shipped without a charge. Okay, we got the charging cradle plugged in. We're going to go ahead and drop the radio in. There we go, and that light turned red, and I imagine it'll turn green once the radio is done charging. Um, one thing to note is that this cradle and the battery are not compatible with other Baofeng radios. Um, at least none of the ones that I have. There may be a Baofeng radio that I don't know about that they are compatible with, but not the UV5R series of radios. Alright, so one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to hook this radio up to my laptop using a programming cable, the Baofeng Standard Programming Cable, which is right here. And if you take a look at this, this is the same one that would, you would use on a UV5R or um, I think it's the, U, the UV82 uh, series of radios. But there is no programming interface on here, there's no buttons, just these two knobs which control your volume and control your channel selection. So you're going to need to hook it up to a computer to program it. Um, it does come with uh, some of the channels programmed on FRS or GMRS frequencies, but uh, as far as I'm aware this is not a Part 95 certified radio, so it would be illegal to operate it on those frequencies in the United States. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to program it on some other 70 centimeter uh, frequencies. So what you would do is you would pop this case off the side and it exposes two ports where you plug this cable in. Just like you would with the other Baofeng radios. And then it has a USB plug here that uh, we're going to go ahead and plug into my laptop computer. So here we have the Chirp application running, and the first thing we're going to do is we want to read the file from the radio so we can make a backup of the original configuration. So the first thing we need to do is we need to connect the radio. Using these drop downs, I want to make sure that I'm using the right serial port, which is a USB, and then I want to pick Baofeng, and I pick the BF888 
It's electronically and mechanically the same radio. It has an upgraded case and maybe some other components, but they both work pretty much the same. You won't have any problems programming your 999S with that setup. So here you go. You can see how the radio was shipped and how it was programmed. It does have the capability to be programmed to use repeaters. We're not going to do that in this video. We're just going to test this radio via simplex. When we do our test, we're going to test at a distance of about one kilometer on the other side of my neighborhood. There are some hills and houses in the way, so it should be a pretty good test, but it's definitely not stretching the limits of the radio. By clicking on the settings tab, you can see the options are pretty basic. I'm going to take a look and see how the squelch works. It looks like it goes from zero to nine. There's a few other settings. You can change it from English to Chinese. Uh, you can set your timeout and you can enable Vox, for example. But we're not really going to get in all this. All we want to do is we want to set up a couple of channels for simplex testing. So what I want to do here is I'm going to select all of the channels by using the menu and then I'm going to delete them so everything is blanked out. That way I know that the radio is programmed to my specifications and not the factory configuration. In the event that I want to go back to the factory configuration, we can use the file that we saved earlier to restore that. So I'm just going to program in some 440 or 70 centimeter channels for the first three channels in the radio. I'm going to start with 446, 446.5, and 447. I want to make sure that I take any offset that was left in there before or automatically populated because we're not going to be using a repeater. And I also want to make sure that the power is set to high. If you want to learn more about Chirp, I have a video that shows more advanced configuration settings and how to import repeater settings from Repeater Book or how to program other simplex channels. Just about done. And what we want to do is we want to write this configuration back to our radio or upload it. So I want to make sure that my configurations are the same as they were before. Hit OK, and now the radio is programmed. Before we go out and we do our range test, I did want to pull up the banggood.com website. This is where you can order this radio, and as you can see, you can get it for $15.99 shipped. The reason I'm pulling this up is I do want to go over some of the specifications in more detail. Just a couple of things to note. As I mentioned, it's a UHF radio. It's capable of operating between 400 and 470 megahertz. It says it has a built antenna, but we saw that it's removable. It has 16 channels and a channel spacing of 25 kilohertz. It says it has a range of about 1 to 3 kilometers, and it has a 3.7 volt battery with 1800 milliamps. That's pretty good, and it weighs about 500 grams, or a little over a pound. It also operates at 5 watts on high power. Alright, now that we have this uh, radio programmed, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of a range test. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And as you can see, I do have it programmed for English, and you heard a number two. Three, two, one, two. And what happens is the radio announces the channel that it's on when you go ahead and you change the channel selection with the bigger knob. All right, for this test, we are going to go do a couple of control tests. We're going to use a Baofeng UV5R and a Yaesu FT60. Performing a test with the Baofeng UV-5R. Testing one, two, testing one, two. Okay, now we're going to test how well the Baofeng BF-999S transmits. We're going to be receiving on the Yaesu FT-60. Testing the Baofeng BF-999S. Testing one, two, testing one, two. Testing the Baofeng UV-5R. Testing 1-2. Testing 1-2. Alright folks, well that pretty much wraps up the review for the Baofeng BF-999S. Uh, we saw the range test. At $15.99, uh, this seems like it's a pretty handy little walkie-talkie, but very simple to use and operate. Uh, one thing, though, in the United States, I believe it's illegal to use this unless you have your ham license, so you probably have the skill set and knowledge to use a more complicated radio. Uh, in any event, maybe you like to tinker, maybe you want to add to your collection of uh, handheld radios. 
um, you have to decide for yourself if it's something that you want to pick up or not. I do want to say thanks everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. And a big thanks to Banggood for sending me this radio for review. If you like this video and you want to see more uh, content of a similar nature, go ahead and click like or subscribe. Thanks everybody.